These are two of probably the finest trial lawyers you'll find in Texas, if not the nation. Texas House impeachment managers select legendary Texas attorneys Dick DeGuerin and Rusty Hardin to present the case against Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, raising the stakes for the suspended top cop. In the 90s, DeGuerin defended Waco cult leader David Koresh and later represented convicted murderer Robert Durst. Hardin has represented a long list of celebrities that include the likes of NFL quarterback Deshaun Watson, Roger Clemens, and Steve Francis, amongst many others. The fact that they are taking a prosecutorial position, I find very interesting. They're often in a defensive position, representing people who are being prosecuted either by the state or in civil lawsuits. CBS Austin spoke to Rice University political science professor Bob Stein over the phone, who says both are experts in the courtroom and are not known for taking partisan positions in their legal work. DeGuerin says prosecuting Paxton for impeachment isn't about political affiliation or punishment. It's about protecting the state of Texas and upholding the law. We... Rusty Harden and I have learned in all that time that no one wants a crook in the system. You cannot trust the outcome of trials, whether they're civil or criminal, unless there is a full and fair hearing of the accusations. I, as a citizen, was dumbfounded that the large number of Republicans voted the way they did. And I salute them for it. The 20 counts against Paxton include abuse of power, bribery, retaliation, and other accusations. Both attorneys say they want to present the articles of impeachment in a fair way and ensure Paxton will have due process. All of this probably could have been avoided had Paxton paid the settlement of $3.3 million. If he tries to hire up lawyers of the caliber that Rusty Harden and Dick Agarin are, that $3 million may look like a small fee for what he will have to pay for that kind of defense.